Hello again, and welcome to another one of Dan's gear closet sessions in my very own gear closet, which looks like it's mostly filled with junk and clothes, but I assure you there is some actually actual gear in here somewhere if I could find it. But yeah, this is my gear closet. And the subject matter of today's video is going to be how to go transition towards ultralight backpacking in three easy steps, or maybe just lightweight backpacking, or maybe just taking some weight in size off your pack without really attaching a name to it. Just carrying less weight in your backpack for backpacking and how to get there in three easy steps and probably one or two bonus steps that I tack on in the end as I ramble on. So why am I making this video? Pretty simple. I went on a little weekend trip recently and I was just going through my stuff and I was looking at the things like I didn't really need to bring or I could have gone lighter on even though I try to go pretty light with my backpacking, uh, there are still some things where I can tweak here and there. I just want to make a video about my methodology for it in, in a simple way that's, that's just accessible, that people can understand about just how to go ultralight backpacking. Because it's, just, it's not just about buying $700 tents uh, and, and things like that. You don't have to buy the, the most expensive gear to lower your pack weight. It, there's easier ways to get there that don't have to cost you $5,000 in investments of new gear. So let's get to those steps right now. Now let's dive into the three easy steps that I have to transition to ultralight or lightweight or just generally lowering your pack weight type of backpacking to make things simpler and a little more uh, pleasant down the trail. Now step one is uh, actually it's pretty simple. And it, all you really need to do for step one is just get your stuff together for a trip you're going to take, uh, just whatever you plan to bring, uh, and then kind of write it down, make a list, make a spreadsheet of the gear you have. And then after we're done that, after we got everything together, figure out the stuff that you're not going to bring. Okay. So we're just going to figure out things that we don't we don't even need to bring in the first place and we can have a lower pack weight. For example, let's just start with the, you know, I got this nice big framed Osprey pack here and these things come with this, this top lid or brain or whatever. And if you're doing a little short trip, you don't have your pack filled to capacity, you don't have to bring that. Okay. So just leave the brain at home and maybe remove some of the straps on the pack or whatever. And you can take a few ounces off your pack. And so those are the big things. And then there's smaller things you can do like, Let's say you usually bring a bowl. You don't need to bring a bowl. Don't bring a bowl. Just eat straight out of whatever pot you have. You might bring a fork, okay? Um, just, just leave the fork at home. Just bring a spoon. Spoon's the only thing we ever really use anyways. And then uh, stuff sacks. Maybe reduce the amount of stuff sacks you bring. You know, you don't need a stuff sack for everything. You can put a lot of different things in one stuff sack. Or get a pack liner and don't use stuff sacks at all. And then we can go to clothing and you know, just maybe for like something like socks and underwear, just leave, just leave one pair at home. Okay. You don't need both pairs of socks and underwear. So those are just some examples of things that you, you just don't even need to bring in the first place. So we're just going to get all that stuff together make a list and then figure out what you don't actually need. Pretty easy, pretty simple, right? Now, step number two is also pretty simple in theory, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult to implement because what I recommend for this is, is to actually go on some trips. Okay. Plan some trips, go on a trip or two and pay attention to, and take note of the items that you don't even use in the first place or things you can adjust in your pack list or things that you could probably upgrade to, to lighten your load. What I like to do is I like to bring a little notebook with me and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I write down, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I just need to bring that in the first place. Or oh, I can probably bring a lighter version of that or adjust that or blah, blah, blah. And so, so that's my style. And you can use a little notebook or you could bring, bring a, uh, uh, put it on your notes app on your phone. So that's, that's just something to do when you're actually on a trip. For example, on my latest trip, I noticed my sleeping pad is probably a little heavy and not as comfortable I want it to be. So pretty soon here, I'm probably going to upgrade on an insulated pad that's thicker and lighter than what I currently use. In my clothing, I brought sort of a heavier down jacket and I really didn't need it. I probably could have been fine with this lighter down jacket that weighs about 
half as much. So those are just a couple examples of recent adjustments on my trips, uh, despite having going with a lightweight or ultralight style for a number of years now. So that's step number two. Just go on some trips and take note of the things that you don't need or can adjust or maybe upgrade to a lighter version of. All right, step number three. This is the one we've all been waiting for. This is what ultralight backpacking is really all about. That's what we're all here for. And that's when you start to upgrade your gear and just get some lighter stuff. Yep, that's when we're gonna spend $5,000 to, to lower our pack weight by two pounds or whatever. And, and that's where the fun's at. The research and the buying and the anticipation and actually getting using, using it and then going and getting some more gear. Yeah, that's where step number three is. We're upgrading our gear and getting some lighter stuff. But okay, it doesn't actually have to be that super expensive because let me just give you some examples. Like the big stuff, we can go with, uh, you know, I got this big frame pack and if you get light enough, you can transition to a frameless pack here, which... It's pretty much going to be cheaper than most frame packs. Uh, even even frameless packs made in the USA end up coming cheaper than bigger and heavier frame packs. Uh, other big things you can you can get rid of your your whole tent dealio and then just kind of do uh, a tarp tent combination. And and this this setup cost me less than three hundred dollars combined. So if you do with a trekking pole supported tarp tent. Uh, it can still be cheaper than uh, a one-person pole tent. And then there's smaller items you can transition to to go lighter that aren't nearly as expensive as tents and backpacks and sleeping pads and sleeping bags and quilts and, and all the big ticket items. You can do something as simple as get rid of your titanium stainless or stainless steel mug or, or insulated mug and just get a little plastic cup. It also doubles as a measuring cup that can be useful for your cooking. Uh, that's when you kind of bring in the titanium pots and just get that. You know, more little items, like instead of using the big triple-sided steak, you can go with the small Y steak or go with the little shepherd's hook steak. Uh, start going with your DCF stuff sacks instead of regular stuff sacks. So that's just some examples of, of how you can go lighter on the gear. And there is that saying of buy once, cry once, and it means just getting the lighter, more expensive item right now, because if you go cheap and get something kind of light, but not super light, you, you're you eventually just going to get the super ultra light item anyways. I kind of don't subscribe to that because uh, we're just going to keep buying more stuff anyways, okay? <laughs> we're just going to keep buying more stuff. You're not going to buy once, cry once. You're going to buy six times, cry six times. So you just buy what's within your budget and, you know, look on online classifieds, look for use, look for eBay, look at REI garage sales, look for stuff on sale, all that stuff. So just, you know, always look for deals like I like to do and buy once, cry once. Don't, don't worry about that because you're just going to buy more stuff anyways. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that. Maybe you learned something or maybe you didn't. Maybe you just enjoy my sterling personality and great sense of humor and watch for that reason. I don't know. I don't know. But I just had some thoughts I wanted to share about transitioning to ultralight backpacking based on, or, or just lightweight backpacking or, or just carrying less stuff on your back. And it's all based on my own experiences and, and what I've done without having to spend money. It's not, it's not just about spending money. It's about taking a more conscious approach to what's in your kit and what you're carrying on your back and what you bring on the trips. So thanks for watching. If you, if you enjoyed this, do the whole like, subscribe. If you've got any questions, ask a comment. I don't know. That's enough. I'm going to get out of the gear closet and, and we're, we can all move on with our lives. I'll see you later, folks.